looking to make 2022 or whatever year you're looking at your most productive ever start with addition by subtraction that's right find some things in your life that you can get rid of i'm talking about old clothes i'm talking about unsubscribing to email that you don't usually respond to anyway i'm talking about looking at your calendar and finding opportunities to subtract yourself out of various meetings when it comes to work and frankly maybe even it means spending less time on social media something like that just so that way you're able to create some additional time to do things that are more important to you if you want to hear more tips like this stick around and i'm going to give you three more tips that you can use to make 2022 or whatever year you're in the most productive ever hey what's popping jordan thomas here welcome to 40 for 40 where i'm going to be cranking out 40 videos before my 40th birthday on october 5th and i thought a really good video to start out with you and talk with you about is how to make your life as productive as possible. Recognizing that we're in a pandemic and you're just looking for maybe those little small wins that you can do to make your life a little bit easier. The second thing I think you want to certainly consider is time blocking. This just means that you look at your overall calendar and find opportunities to block out specific time for specific tasks. In a work type of scenario, I like to block out like the first 15 minutes of my workday, my lunch hour, and the 15 minutes at the end of the day. That way I can at least assess what are the most important things I need to get done for the day, have a defined break in between, and then a, a period of time that I block out to make sure that I'm able to like, that I accomplish the things that I set out in that 15 minutes. Now, depending on the given day, I also block out like an additional maybe like 90 minutes or so from like deep thought type of work, depending on what I have going on. But even in my personal life, I make sure to spend some additional time focusing in on things like making this video. Like I knew that I had 90 minutes today, this evening, so I know I needed to block out that amount of time, don't allow any other interruptions, so that way I'd be more likely to get this done. So what are the ways in your life that you can block out a few minutes at a time to get the most important things done? Give yourself more runway. Listen, we are living through a pandemic. There's no telling how you may feel on a given day. One of the best things you can do for yourself is undersell and over deliver. And the simplest application of this is say that you believe that you have a task that will take you one week. Tell the person that you're looking to provide the information for, the data, the deliverable, that two weeks. It'd be better for you to allow for that additional time and come to them early with a finished product than to say to take you a week and now you gotta go back and renegotiate dates. No one likes to have dates renegotiated, particularly because they're dependent on that date and it just rolls up the cascades. It's a whole problem, it's escalations. Nobody wants that. Get your most important work done during the early part of the week. I love running and one of my favorite workouts to do is sprint work, but it is taxing on my body. But I do my best to do that workout on Tuesday or Wednesday. The reason being is that as the week progresses, things are going on. I got husband duties, I'm taking care of my dog, maybe my sisters, my niece and nephew calls me, anything can happen. And so I become more and more less likely to do it as the week goes on because I'm just kind of like rationalizing and then I can move it on to the next week. Same thing goes when it comes to work by prioritizing your most strategic, the work that's gonna mean the most to your company, your overall business during the earlier part of the week, that way when the more like, kind of like urgent things start coming up, you're able to address those. When you get to the end of the week, you can say, ah, I went ahead and got that thing that was really important done during the early part of the week, and you can take that momentum into the next week. A bonus tip, do not try to do all four of these things at one time. One of the things that you can really do with these is stagger these out over the coming weeks, months. You just wanna like check in on these three or four things and that way you're in a better position. At the end of the day, productivity is just a proxy for effectivity. And the way that you become effective is doing these types of things over a period of time. Now keep in mind, the best time to start a new habit was yesterday, but the next best time is certainly today. And in the event you're trying to look at becoming like a morning runner, for example, I've got you covered with a video here. I'll see you next time. Jordan Thomas. Peace.